man, so funny story while we get this bitch rolling. Uh, y'all probably noticed by now, I've only been uploading about one video a day on average. That is because, partially, because I have been just, I mean, it, the 4th of July is coming up. And I have been kept very busy at work and I haven't really had time to do much of anything because of it. That's part of the reason. The secondary reason is because the time that I have had has been used to get back to the point that I was at previously. And that is because I accidentally, what, it, what ended up happening was that, uh, one of you guys, Shadow Wolf Rising, this is all your fault, I'm blaming this on you, totally on you, <laughs> anyway, uh, posted how to make a main character who, uh, had, who has a scythe as their weapon. And so I was like, alright, you know, I got some, I got some quick little time, let's just test it out, let's see what happens. And so I did, I tested it out, I got through a few battles to try it out, see what, you know, see what was different, etc. Try and, you know, get some more understanding of the battle system through using it at the beginning and whatnot. And I ended up getting to the point where you fight that little flame dog, dude. Now once you get there, once you beat the flame dog, the game is like, would you like to save at this point? I was like, ah, yeah, whatever, sure, let's just do it. Because this is, I, if I'm remembering correctly, I did this, like, right before I was about to go to sleep. And so I was tired at that point in time. I didn't really care. I wasn't really paying attention. And I saved over my old save file. Over the save file that I had. So I have spent my time getting back <laughs> to where I was before I was a complete retard and saved over my save file. So... Yeah, it was a good use of my time. I feel like such an asshole doing that. Like, it's just, I mean, those moments were like, you just know you did something incredibly fucking stupid, and there's no excuse for it, and you're just like, God damn it. This is not a high point in my life. Alright, so that is, okay, so yeah, as you can see, I went through the battles. The good thing about having to do this is, again, is that I seem to have a better understanding of the game system. And by that, I mean... Previously, you know, you go through fights in the first game, and it was perfectly... Well, it was, in general, usually, unless you were fighting against, like, a boss character, or against a very strong, uh, enemy, you generally didn't have to use EX skills at all. You just didn't have to use them. It was unnecessary. You usually killed them before you even had... Because, for those of you that remember... You had two points that aren't really in this game, technically. I mean, I guess I guess the UP kind of replaces SP. But SP builds up slowly when you take damage and get attacks. It doesn't build up as fast as UP does in this game. So in general, in most fights, you would never use one of those EX skills. Or well, I don't even know what they over... No, they don't call them overkill. I can't even remember what they call them in this game. But the special skills that require the 1-up you know, and the 32 AP to use those. However, in this game, it's very easy to build those up. And so it seems like the entire point is basically just to build up however many of those you want and then chain them together with the group attack, using all the AP together. Rather than... Because I've been going through trying to just kill everything with normal shit. And it doesn't seem like that's the point. So, I mean, that understanding definitely made the battles quite a bit easier for me so far. But we'll, I mean, we'll see as we go, as we continue, I'm assuming enemies will continue getting stronger. Obviously, this isn't like a clear representation of the overall difficulty and whatnot. But, uh, we'll see. We will see. Are they gonna do that every, like, every, she didn't even say anything. They took the time to have her sprite bounce so that her tits could bounce. And then I get a Fine! Whatever record of Ugly Reservoir 2, whatever floats your boat. Just sit back here and shut my mouth. What the fuck? Where does that violent and overwhelming force from learning fights? Because you're kind of a bitch in fights. That is one thing that pisses me off in these in this system. Is how you can go through because actually I'll just I'll mention it when we get to a battle, if I remember it by then. I'll just mention it when we get to a battle. I 
At what? All I see are rocks and stalagmites. What are? Oh, hmm. Stalagmites are the ones that come from the top, right? This is shit that used to just be like common knowledge, and then I just didn't give a shit for like years. And now I just don't remember. I mean, it's I mean, honestly, it's information that doesn't matter, unless you're like a geologist, constantly, or like a spelunker, or some shit. It really doesn't matter, like that kind of knowledge doesn't matter. There are so many people that are just like, oh, you're so stupid for not knowing that, but like, really, what does it ma what the fuck is going down here? This is unacceptable. This is Ellis, apparently. And the first time we see her, she is naked. <laughs> it, amu it amuses me, it amuses me, that since the text scrolls so slowly, the first thing you see is, I require your ass. Just throwing that out there, that that was funny. I require your ass now! I mean assistance. I meant assistance. I meant assistance! Don't, 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 don't get it twisted. Who is she? Maybe you might want to explain that shit to us. That'd be nice. How will y'all not- how has somebody not been like, here, let me put my cloak around her or some shit, like, what if- <laughs> The girl's just chilling there naked. You're in the middle of a cave, so it's probably pretty damn cold down there. Ain't no gentleman in this party? Nobody gives a shit? There's like a naked eight-year-old there, and everybody's just like, yeah, that's natural, it happens every day. This ain't no thing, you don't need to cover up. Look at you with your big-ass cloak, help a girl out! Come on, four eyes! Oh, see, now she's gonna wake up. She's gonna think y'all are a bunch of perverts. You know what I should have paid attention to? I've actually been kind of curious. Were, her, were his eyes red at the beginning? Or did that... See, that's something, like, I've been wondering. Like, did he... Because obviously, red eyes, not exactly natural. So I'm kind of curious if that's, like, a sign, like, a little kind of subtle sign that he absorbed part of chaos or cos. You know, that his eyes changed color. But I, uh, I didn't... I forgot to check when I started the game back up. Sure, why does the symbol map move so damn slow? Did you notice that? It was kind of, like, it was kind of sketchy. Alright, so we're going back to town. The camera moves the opposite way is what I would expect. Okay, so here we are in a battle. The thing that pisses me off about this, this battle is not going to last very long at all. The thing that pisses me off about this battle system, I wish I could use it, but this thing's, as far as I understand it, anyway. Um, the state change thing. At first, initially, I thought, oh, that means they take more damage from that attack. You know, they take 150% damage to the triangle style attacks. But now I understand that it just makes it easier to um, bring them to that state. Because you, once you bring them to like the maximum level of that state or something, I think, don't you get uh, UP for that? I think? Maybe? I've already like, I'm not actually not 100% sure on that now. But anyway... So it just makes it easier to bring them to that state. But the thing that kind of annoys me is that it doesn't really seem like there's any point to that state in the first place. Like, wow, that is moving slow as hell. I guess people were right that, like, it just moves. I don't even bother trying to time it. Like, I really just don't care right now because I have never been anywhere in any fight so far. I have never been anywhere near. See, like, once you get them to the maximum height. See, like, he's not going any higher and I just got a, I just got a um or maybe it's that you get the ultimate strike maybe that's what it was 
I think it was, that you get the ultimate strike. Once you get them to, like, if you get them to the maximum level of whatever the particular attack you win. I think that's what it was. So, you know, a little bit more understanding, always good. Now, what was I talking about before that? Before I, we had that realization. Right. Oh. Do the, like, do the status effects even matter? Oh, I mean, you would think, like, oh, you know, you have this dude floating in the air, unable to move. I have to go through here? That is stupid. You know, you would think, oh, I have them all the way up in, in the air here. They're unable to move. You'd have heightened accuracy. You wouldn't be missing anymore since, you know, they can't move. Same thing with stun. Same thing with being prone. You would think you'd get some kind of accuracy advantage once you hit that shit, but that really doesn't, it doesn't see appear to. You really don't get anything. I'm still missing, you know, the same rate. Which is, obviously, slightly, moderately frustrating. Fuck. The worst part about this random battle system now is just the fact that when you get into fights like this now, where I've been through those symbol points, I've gotten levels now. And these dudes are just giving ass experience, and I'm gonna be rough. That's the worst part about random battles, is when you don't want them. That's why I really wish... See, one thing I've always wished for in a game, in any game like this, where random battles are a thing, the ability... Ah, uh, shit. I don't even care. The ability to change the amount uh, not the amount, like the the encounter rate. Being able to change it on the fly. I really wish you could do that. Just being able to change it from like low, medium, and high or something. So that way, if you want to grind, you put it on high. You get battles every five, you know, like every five steps or something. You know, just a ridiculous rate makes grinding easier. You know, because obviously grinding never really... Nobody's ever like had to grind and been like, yo, damn, this is fun. Nobody's ever done that. So something that just makes it easier, just, you know, makes it simpler, would be fancy. See, why am I missing? I mi He just missed three out of his four goddamn attacks there. He just missed, like, what? What was that? I think he missed four out of six, maybe three out of five. That's terrible. But anyway... You know, just something like that where you can change it. So now if you just want to move on, enjoy the story, get past this shit, you can change it to low and only get, like, one fight every ten minutes or something like that. So that you don't have to deal with it if you do not want to. Why did you... Oh, I hit a button, I guess. I didn't mean to. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I mean... I'm surprised because I don't know any games that do that. I've never heard of a game that does that. And it seems like something, to me, that just should be, like, so obvious. Like, the closest you get is, like, if you play Pokemon, you can buy the Repel item. But that doesn't, like, do what I'm kind of... That doesn't do what I'm talking about at all. That just gets rid of fights for good until it wears off. Not quite the same thing. So, I mean, that's... I mean, it just seems like there's so many unexplored options to put into games. They just... They don't do it. Although I'm sure a large part of that now is just due to the fact that they're really, you know, this kind this kind of random battle RPG kind of deal is... I mean, I guess I guess you can almost kind of say it's like that in a game like Tales of Vesperia, where you, uh... Like, where you have the enemies on the overhead map and you run into them to start a fight. Then you can dodge the enemies if you want to, or you can just constantly run into them. Something like that. That's close, I guess, thinking about it. Oh, I forgot to talk about it. the thing that annoys me right now is the actually the combination attacks because you have to ch you have to change to a different style of attack. So, like for instance, when you hit the X button for the prone thing, both Janus and what's her name Ava, I don't even know how to pronounce these. Once you get far enough into that attack, I don't know if it's like once you get them far enough into the actual like affliction state. Or whatever, I don't know if it's just X attacks and then you can do it. But then if you have either one of them attack, it changes over to stun. They use a combination attack. And then, it ch and then from that point onwards, you have to use stu the stun attack, the square attack, instead of the X attack. And the thing that sucks about that, obviously, is the fact that if you get an enemy that is resistant to stun, but that, you know, is 
easily prone, that's kind of bad to have to switch to stun. And I mean, it happens a lot accidentally when like you're trying to be quick about it, you're trying to hit that weight bonus, you're trying to be on point with your timing, and you know, that doesn't really give you much leeway to like pay attention and see, oh, if I use one of them, I'm gonna get, an, I'm gonna get this combination attack. So that's another little thing that's kind of annoying me right now, but we'll see, I mean, it may actually get worse once I actually get more combination attacks, because right now that's the only combination attack I have. Oh, I have not been writing this shit down, because I am a dumbass. My badsies. Good thing I have it. the Aaliyah Forest left over from the previous video, and then we'll just figure out the name of this and the spelling of this N. I know it starts with a K. Just call it K-N. That's it. It's just K-N. It's Kin. Yep. We're at the Kin! Duh, she has pointy ears. Oh, come on! She was naked! What were you looking at? I saw the ears first. You're a pervert. Tis, well, actually, I guess technically. What the hell were they called? The normal ones, not the high elves, but just the normal ones that have the pointy ass ears. I can't even remember what they were called. I'm actually gonna be a little bit sad if there's no like I mean obviously I don't want there to be what were they called worms no they weren't they were not called worms whatever like the guardian of the high elves were I'm actually gonna be a little sad if there's not some like similar thing I'll be angry if it ends up being like Ellis the Ellis equivalent's guardian but if there just isn't one because they're, they're you gotta admit they're, they look pretty badass even though they're purple, but still, they look pretty badass. I'm gonna be a little sad if they don't... If they're not part of this. If you don't get one as a party member. Mostly it's just because we haven't had any big brawny, like... Or Hulk smash people. Need one of those. All we have is a dude that pulls out this random golden sword in the middle of cutscenes and then using this dinky ass Chosy Maru nonsense in the actual fights. How about you use the big God Slayer sword in the middle of fights? That'd be cool. And then we got this little pussy toting a goddamn gun. Y'all always know they're pussies when they use guns. As much as everybody loves Winfield, that dude was a terrible character. Awful in fights. I tried everything I goddamn well could to make that dude a good character, and it never happened. He was always terrible. It really seems like swords, uh, staffs, and spears. I guess the three S's. Just like those are the only ones that are worth it. Like you know this character. If you put, if you if you put there's a if you allocate their points correctly, I can get through a sentence eventually, it happens. If you allocate their points correctly, they will be the most broken motherfuckers in the game. And then you get people that are like gun characters, that just for whatever reason, they just have half the stats of all the rest of them. I mean, I don't know, I'll show you this dude's stats in a second, they're terrible. They're all like sub-15. It's awful. And they all cost like three or four points to raise up. Why? Get it moving! Like, can we actually talk about this girl? I mean, I know they actually are talking about the girl since the girl's clearly the vessel. But, like... I don't really know. 
I just want shit to move. I want an enemy to show up. Somebody to fight. Somebody to hate. You know, where's my summer really? Where's, you know, where are those dudes that got corrupted in Record of Agra's War Zero that, like, used to be your best friends, but now you gotta kill them because of the power of evil and whatnot? You mean an enemy to focus on? You don't have that yet. All we have so far is, ah, you're a bitch for killing a god, now you have to die and bang some broads while you're at it to make other people that will eventually die, but bang some broads first before they do it. And that will happen three times, and then the world will be saved. Doesn't really sound as heroic when I say it, does it? <laughs> they get banged by the dude that took in the power of the god. I actually really, really, really want to restart the game, like, right at this moment, to see if his eyes were red at the beginning. I actually don't have much time right now anyway because I have to uh, go. It really sucks because right now I'm having like stores are busy enough because of the holiday that I have to go back to some of the bigger stores later in the afternoon after I'm technically already done and I've been able to sit back and relax and then I gotta go back to work. That's the worst. I only got so much time in the day. And too much of it right now is spent at work. Obviously, I've been making money, which is good. But still, I want to be lazy. <laughs> Just follow your penis, dude. Oh, there we go. Now we, now we get to the bang your broads. There we go. See, we always get there eventually. All right. So I'll tell you who I'm not gonna bang. The girl who has the body of a 10 year old. What the fucking what? Did she, she's threatening rape. Ooh, that's bad news. Tell the police. Dial 911 and start running. She can't chase you that quickly in those heels. now that's perfect god damn it i've been waiting for something like that this entire goddamn time thank you man we don't need you in there dude we just need another repetition of are you batshit insane that was perfect completely unexpected and goddamn perfect oh that was sick how do you even know she's right? Maybe she's just trying to record you to get like internet porn funds or some shit. You don't know? Question this shit. She's gonna be starting up a new website. I bang the God Slayers. You know, trying to make a quick buck. Okay, I've been pronouncing it right, Janus. <laughs> it rhymes with anus. I just realized that. I'm a mature and responsible adult. <laughs> oh, God. So I assume Hunter's Guild. Yep. Yep, yep. All right. So we're actually gonna save right here. Going to take a break.
I forgot to write down the name of this dude. Oh, you know what else pisses me off? There's no way to get back to the main menu from here. You can't, like, see, you can't just, like, leave. I don't think unless there's something in here. That'd make no goddamn sense. Cannot use. That'd probably be good to set. Ooh, I wonder if that gets rid of... I'm assuming it doesn't. So I was hoping there was a way to get rid of tutorials. Because going through the tutorials three times kind of blew. Alright, anyway. So what I wanted to do... What I actually wanted to do... Was get through this shit. The problem is it's going to take like five days to actually manage this. I want to see if his eyes are red or not. I have to fucking know this. And we're just gonna end it right there. I forgot to look at the goddamn name of the in again, son of a bitch. I'm so bad at this. Yes, yes, I get it. I don't even have. See, that's what really pissing me off. I don't even have a goddamn motion controller. I don't need to know that shit. I don't have it. Leave me alone. Just go away. That's the other part. This game takes forever to boot up. You gotta deal with the now loading now. You can't skip past all this shit. It does the loading the trophies every single damn time. I don't even care about trophies, man. They are hard as hell to look through. I don't know how y'all look through trophies. Like, it's just so much more... So much easier and so much more intuitive on the 360. It's just, like, it actually shows... Like, the order in which you got them, it, sh it separates the ones you've gotten from the ones you have not gotten. It's just so much simpler and better. Oh, you can skip those. Son of a bitch. But yeah, trophies in this shit just piss me off. And this. Like, what is this actually doing? From what I heard, it takes... I mean, the reason why it's like the game, when you first start playing it, seems like it's slow and has issues with the speed is that, um, like, at the very beginning, it's just, it's installing the game each time manually. That's what somebody posted. I don't know if that's what's going down, but if that is what's going down, like, why, why would you not just have a one-time installation option? Why you gotta go and, like, do that shit while you're trying to play the game so that it slows down the game? It's either that or the game is just slow by itself, which is a bad thing. It's a bad thing either way, really. There's really no win in that situation. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna get to a new game. Come on. Hurry the fuck up. Wasting people's time here. I'm just gonna mash through this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got all that shit. Yeah, yeah. I just want to see this dude's eyes. I just want to see this dude's pretty eyes. That's it. Oh, they were the red. Okay. Well, I was wrong. I was incorrect. Completely wrong. I apologize. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm actually going to show y'all some of the games we got. See, I got Sweet Cone, Chrono Cross, Path of Fire 4, Legend of Dragoon, and Wild Arms. I have not played this. I've played like an hour of that, and I've played like an hour of that. I haven't played that yet. I actually meant to play back through Chrono Trigger again, but that really didn't pan out. I did play that, though. It was a good game. Pretty solid game. I mean, you know, it's pretty dated, but still, good game. Good times. What am I trying to do? That. Alright. So that that's that.